behind me, please welcome Dylan Baker. Your referee, Justin Brown. I've seen both of these gentlemen fight. I'm telling you now, with the 27 fights and 155, you're gonna see a lot of power, a lot of speed, and a lot, very high Especially level. Especially this is our first fight. five round fight too. Yeah. So you're gonna get to watch these guys fight for Starting in minutes. Quick, nice, nice knees for knees, Dylan. Nice elbows. Nice elbows for Taylor. Yep. Hey, you noticed that earlier, like the clinchers are getting broke up, right? As yeah. long as you're moving, as long as you're throwing knees, as long as you're throwing elbows in the clinch, like, like these clinch. guys are, they will leave the clinch going. Yeah, both guys are scoring in the clinch. Yeah. Taylor's ah, doing a nice great job with those Taylor. elbows. It looks like Dylan's ah. cut already. Dylan's got a slight cut over his right eye. Nice, nice knee knees to the from body. Dylan. Oh! Dylan went for the trip, couldn't finish. Looks like yeah, he's got a cut Dylan's over both eyes. Cut. Taylor's doing a great job with those elbows, cutting Dylan on both eyes. Ooh. Like I said, guys, this will be a very technical fight. I don't at this rate, I don't see it going all five rounds. No, absolutely not. Nice knee to the body. Yeah, nice clinch work from Dylan. both guys right here. Dylan's got to be yep. careful. His face is busted up already from elbows in the clinch. Dude, even though his face is busted up, he's still in there throwing knees. He's he throwing is. elbows. He is using that clinch to the best of his ability, that's for sure. Oh, we got a nice, nice little trip by Taylor. Taylor seems to be very content with fighting from the clinch. He's landing, and I don't see why not. I mean, he's landing great knees, he's yep. landing great elbows. He's he winning the fight. He didn't get a trip from it. Yeah. He is scoring points left nice and right. Elbow. Another nice elbow. Every, you notice what Taylor's doing. Every knee he lands, he throws the elbow after it. He's getting Dylan to drop his hands and throw on the elbow. Last 10 seconds of the round. Ooh, nice elbow by Taylor. Ooh, nice outside nice leg kick in the round. Taylor did a great job of racking, scoring points in that fight. Yep. He was utilizing the elbows and the knees and the clinch very well. And he went back and forth, so it wasn't just elbows, elbows, elbows. It wasn't just knees, knees, knees. He was putting them together and did a great job. Great first round. Like I told you guys, expect a very high level technical Muay Thai fight, and that's what we saw. A lot of great clinch work. A lot of you guys were like, oh, they were just hugging each other the whole time. No, guys, they were landing a lot of great elbows and a lot of great knees. That was a very technical first round. Yep, and as you can see, those guys are, even in the clinch, like we talked about, they're constantly throwing elbows. And again, we got by Muay Thai, yeah. vibing in the corner. I love it, dancing between rounds. Bouncing back and forth. I feel like all, 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 the, all these Bond, all these Van Moore Thai guys, they could go, uh, they could go for hours. Yeah, they come, in, all of them have come in with great cardio. I've not seen one of them get tired yet. Ooh, another nice elbow. Taylor's doing a great job in the clinch with his elbows. Dylan's doing a good job landing some knees, but he's got to utilize the elbows in the clinch. Ooh, nice ah. elbow, Taylor. Taylor keeps hitting that cut. He's trying to open up that cut. Throwing those elbows. Nice back and forth Dylan knees. needs to circle off the cage right here. Dylan's got blood rushing down his left eye right now. And I'm surprised Justin's he gonna break him up. I'm very surprised he broke that up. Because Taylor was being very active in landing. And Taylor goes back right back and landing knees, you elbows. You can tell Taylor likes this clinch a lot. Yeah. There you go. And Dylan's doing a great job with knees, but he's not throwing elbows. Both these guys are pretty busted up. No, that's just Dylan's blood oh, on Taylor. Is. That's just Dylan. Taylor's not blessed at all. That's just Dylan's blood. Taylor's doing a great job getting his back, Dylan's back against the wall, which makes it harder for throwing him knees. to throw those knees. And to even if you do throw them, you're not throwing with a lot of power. Ah, so, those elbows are nasty. Very nice elbows. Dylan's got to work on getting the underhook and circling away from the cage. He's got to get off the cage. Yep. Again, Taylor just got. Oh, nice trip. I 
Again, Taylor's got this collar ties and Dylan can just not get away from it. Dylan's got to start moving at an angle and not getting pushed up against the cage. Taylor's just going right forward, back to the clinch yeah. where he's controlling the whole fight. Man, I would really, I'd like to see Dylan throw some teeps. Oh, just, just, just to keep him off of him just a little bit. Yeah, and that's the thing is Dylan seems like he's comfortable in the clinch, but he's clearly not winning this fight in yep. the clinch. I think he's got to try to stay out of it. Yep. But he's working, he's staying. When he gets yeah, in he there, is. he's not looking to get out. Yep, he is working, that's for sure. Good second round. Again, I got to give that to Taylor. He's yep. he's, he's implementing his game plan very well. He's literally walking Dylan down, clinching, and landing elbow, knee, elbow, knee, elbow, knee. But at the end of the day, Dylan is still in this fight. He he's is. He's still in it, man. I would really like to see Dylan throw some teeps, kind of keep his distance a little bit, yeah. and really try to keep this fight out of the clinch. That was a great third round. Again, like you said, Dylan's got to keep the distance and start sitting from the outside because he is not winning these exchanges on the clinches. If he's going to sit in the clinch, he's got to start throwing elbows. I've not seen him throw many elbows. Here we go. Dylan's starting to fight from a little distance now. I like seeing him throw some. Hey! Nice take Beautiful down. Beautiful sweep. Beautiful sweep by Dylan. Ah, nice little elbow by Dylan. And again, yes, he's out of the Dylan's doing much better. And now he's getting, he needs to circle off the cage. Grab her underhook and circle off the cage. Again, Taylor controlling the fight, keeping Dylan on his back. Yep. And, he's, and he's very active. He's being very active with him in the cage. Right back to it. Dylan seems content to stay in the clinch and throw a new shot here or yeah, there. I think, I think he's setting up a trip. Uh, he's setting up a trip. There he goes. Hey. Good balance by Taylor. You can tell that, that Taylor definitely works on this with a cage. Just because if you're in a you're in a ring, it's not quite easy to keep someone up against the ropes. Oh, oh, nice trip attempt. And Taylor couldn't finish. Now, I don't know if Dylan doesn't work in the cage, but Taylor's doing a good job of keeping him there. Oh, and finally yep. Dylan's starting to throw some knees. Good job. Yep, and I, uh, I'm i a firm believer. I think if a lot of Muay Thai guys did some wrestling, oh, nice, nice by, nice Dylan. by Dylan. Beautiful. Two takedowns this round. There we go. Looks like Taylor's starting to slow down a little bit. I think Dylan needs to separate right here. Separate and start to throw some strikes from distance. Dylan went right back into the clinch. Yep, and Dylan's got Dylan's got two underhooks right here. Taylor reversed the position. Taylor yep. seems very comfortable. Dylan still reverse. got underhooks though. Last ten seconds of the round. Ooh, nice overhand. Beautiful. Spin knee. And we are going into the fourth round. One thing Taylor does very well is he sets everything up. Now he's not throwing just one thing where it's just an elbow here and there. So he'll throw an elbow, he'll throw a knee, throw that overhand right, step another elbow. So he's doing very well mixing up his combinations. Yep. Both these guys are highly skilled in the art of Muay Thai. I could not agree more. Yeah. I, really, I think a lot of these guys too, especially like same thing with wrestlers learning Muay Thai. I think if Muay Thai guys started learning a little bit of Greco wrestling, it's really helped them with their sweeps and really helped them get off of the cage and off the ropes just a little bit more. Not a bad idea, guys. Hey, Dylan's very much in this fight. He still has the time. Oh, yeah. I would, I'd be willing to say that Dylan won that last round. Those two takedowns did score a lot of points, but look at that eye. How many, how many more elbows can that eye take? Yeah. Man, if this was no pads, full contact Muay Thai rules, a pro, his eye would have been sliced open. Right yeah. I think both guys are probably sliced open at this point, though. Yeah. You see how Taylor used that, in, that body kick to set up the clinch? He yep. didn't just walk in this time. He's actually set it up, landed a couple of shots, scored some points. So that's one thing I like, is he's scoring points every time he steps in. So I want you guys to notice too, whenever Taylor grabs a collar tie, 
he's grabbing a collar tie on the back of the neck. He's not reaching around. He's grabbing the back of the neck or the back of the head so that he can really control his head and really pull his head down, right? Also, for those of you who don't know, in Muay Thai, knees, elbows, and kicks actually score more points than punches. So you may be wondering, why are you not throwing so many punches? It's because they actually score more points with the oh, kicks nice and elbow elbows. Oh, nice elbow by Dylan. A little knowledge nugget there from Andrew. You gotta drop a little knowledge nuggets here and there. Have to throw a little knowledge nugget out there. Ah, nice elbow by Taylor. Ta hey, yeah, man, Taylor, when he's in the clinch, man, he is just dirty. Non-stop. Like, yep. as we dirty said, those five Muay Thai guys, they, have, they come in for a fight. They come in with great cardio. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, folks. And we're back. Sorry, guys. Our, uh, our, our corner cam over here cut off on us. But let's not let that take away from Taylor over here just throwing knees to the body of Dylan. And again, man, Dylan's still in his fight, dude. He's still in his fight. I would like to see him fight for more at a distance, like I said. Or he grabs his collar ties. I want to see him grab his collar ties a little bit more shallow around the back of the neck where he can really get a good leverage on his head, right? And thrust the knee. That was just a good lever. Even when you have boxing gloves on, it's still a pretty good lever. And guys, we are going into the last round. Ooh! Nice leg kick from the Taylor. The last second. Round. Tell you what, Taylor paid for that leg kick, though. Yeah, Dylan snuck it in a nice cross. Fifth and, and final the fifth round. round. Even though this is not a championship bout, this is a championship round. And if you guys have ever fought three rounds, y'all know they can be absolute hell, much less five rounds. So these guys came very, very, very well prepared. They have not slowed down one bit, no matter what they're doing. I don't know about you, Trent, but I have to say, I think that Dylan's gonna need a finish to take it home tonight. If he wants to yep. take this home, he needs a finish. Here's the thing, he could very well get a finish. And he can. He is still, he's still in this. But he I think to it. get that finish, with what, from what I've seen from Taylor, he's gonna have to keep the distance. He's gonna have to land some kicks to the head. Because I don't think he's gonna get it in the clinch. Taylor is so good in the clinch, it clearly has the advantage. I don't think Dylan's gonna get to win in the clinch, he, but he's got to win this fight. He's gonna have to knock him out here. He yep. Has to finish. I uh, couldn't agree more. A nice little hug. Again, guys, show, show how much how much sportsmanship and, and how much respect these guys have for each other. Well, there we go. Now they're trading. Trading at a distance. I'm very surprised because Taylor's got this in the bag. He can take his yep. clinch work and finish. But you know what? He's standing there and he's trading. He said, okay, you want to trade? We will trade. Nice I'll win elbow. however you want. Both these guys want this fight so bad. Ah. They both want to finish. Yeah. They're going for it. And I applaud Taylor. You know, he could sit and cruise and sit in the clinch. Yep. But no, he's he's, not. he's looking for the finish. He is going out there. Both these guys I don't have think a lot that, of heart. I don't think Dylan's gonna give him the chance to just sit back and just chill. He is still on him. And these guys are still throwing with a lot of power and a lot of speed. And incredible cardio from these guys. Nice, nice knees. Knee to the body. And Dylan has almost hit that sweep a couple times this round. I think I, if, he, if he could hit a couple sweeps in this round, he could very easily win this round. I honestly, and it's kind of depending on how the judges look at everything. I think he doesn't have the, I don't think he has the energy to finish that sweep though. Because he's not hitting it like he was in the first couple of rounds. Nice elbows. His coach is calling for a teeth. Uh, and he hit it. Trying to keep the distance. Yep. Taylor comes right back in for the clinch. Nice, throws him up against the cage. Dylan's not backing down. I'd like, He's not I'd like going to see Dylan go up high with a cheap kick right here. I'd like to see him throw, throw one to the body and then throw one to the head. Another knee to the body. Taylor's doing a beautiful job of knee to the body all night and setting up his elbows, knee to the body, elbow, yep. knee to the body. Guys, and the difference between kickboxing and Muay Thai is just this, right? This is, this is the art of Muay Thai. And this guy, Taylor, he is tying Dylan up and landing knees and landing elbows in the clinch where you can't do this in kickboxing. They break you up right away. Ooh, another nice knee to the body. Amazing Beautiful fight, Beautiful fight. If you're here, Man. you should be on your feet yes. with a standing ovation. You know, that, that, could home, be, that could be another, be as well. like, maybe possibly fight of the night. Just for it going all five rounds, 
and these dudes just banging it out for, tw for 10 minutes. You gotta give both fighters so much respect. Yeah. I will say one thing too, both these guys are gonna be sore tomorrow. They're oh, gonna yeah. be very sore tomorrow. Man, my, my ribs are sore just watching yeah. them. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are going to be like, hey, like, going to their girlfriends or their wives and be like, hey, like, help me get out of bed tomorrow. We got the Hooters of North Columbia girls in the ring looking to hand out the conflict medals to the winner. I'm going to have to say I think it's a pretty clear unanimous decision for Taylor, but you never know what these judges are thinking of. And, again, that's another fight where you can't you can't hang your head on this fight, especially if you, regardless of who wins this fight. Both All right, these guys, Maestro. We have a decision of the judges. It is unanimous. The winner of this full rules Muay Thai bout in the blue corner, Taylor Rodriguez, by unanimous decision. A beautiful show of respect yeah. and sportsmanship awesome. after an incredible and technical Muay Thai fight. Awesome fight. Maybe fight of the night. Who knows? Yep, hats off to Dylan, hats off to Taylor, especially for fighting it out for five rounds. That is exhausting. 